Hey guys, this is Precious and welcome to Couture TV and Film. This is my YouTube channel and this series is called Behind the Scenes. And we're going to be going in depth and behind the scenes of all the projects and photo shoots that I do. And today we're going to be talking about the making of the photo shoot, Wear a Mask. So let's get into it. So the whole concept of wear a mask was inspired by a photo that I saw on Instagram last year during quarantine. And I'll try to put the photo somewhere over here so you guys can have a reference to what I'm talking about. And after seeing this photo, I was completely, completely inspired. And I was like, wow. To come up with this idea of wearing a mask, but the mask is something completely different than a normal mask. Like that mask that we just saw was made out of leaves and vines and uh, shrubbery. And I really, really liked that. And the model in the photo, she had her natural hair and it was in Bantu knots. And I love the whole theme of the entire photo of being natural in a natural state. So after seeing that photo, I was completely inspired by it. And uh, most of my projects are inspired by things that I see on the daily or music that I listen to or what other people are doing in the industry. And my inspiration can be pulled from anywhere. So, and the whole concept is that something is, is really to find beauty in what we are going through is kind of how I was looking at it. What I did is that I got different masks off of Amazon and I decorated them to look like unconventional things that you probably wouldn't wear on your face. But the photo is just so beautiful that it evokes some type of feeling out of you, kind of how that one photo did that inspired this whole thing. So I kind of just wanted to show different themes of different kind of masks that looks really good for profile type of portrait shots. I just wanted to have fun with it and just go with the flow and how I was feeling um, in this moment during the time of quarantine. I wanted to kind of find beauty in, um, in all of this. about finding materials for a photo shoot that I'm doing. So we are at Dollar Tree and this is one of our first stops of the day. We are gonna go in there to see if they have rose petals and shrubbery and all that good jazz and we're gonna see what's up. So today was a really hot day as you can see. I tried to find comfort in all my clothes that I wear. So today I am wearing Lana Rama. This is her track slash sweatsuit line. It's suede and it's super comfortable. And my style has definitely transformed since I would say since high school versus up to now. Um, so in the past 10 years, so from 18 to 28, um, my style has completely changed. And now I really dress for comfort and to feel you know, cozy in my clothes. It's really great for bussing and hustling around town. And um, I have on my Yeezys. I have on some Lace by Tanaya jewelry. And my Apple Watch, some rings, bracelet. I have my Telfar bag. And um, I have some cute shades. And uh, we're about to get today popping. So follow me, let's do it. my mask <laughs> you know with all this COVID restrictions sometimes I forget to put my mask on when I go in places so. I really like Dollar Tree. Like, I like Dollar Tree in the 
99 cent store. So there's a lot of stuff in here that you can get for $1.99. So I grew up in Houston, Texas, and in Houston, we have a lot of Dollar Trees, we have a lot of Dollar Generals, and we have a lot of 99 cent stores. And we have a lot of Walmarts, like, on every corner. So I grew up, you know, going to these stores and finding things and creating things when I was younger. All right. So, this is a good start. So we have a couple of flowers here. And like I said, this mask is gonna look like she's wearing like a floral mask across her face. And I'm really bad at explaining things. I'm just gonna let you guys know that right now. Please forgive me. I'm more of a shower, not a teller. So I'm going more so for roses. That's my thing. I mean, this looks really nice. We could, we could use this. I like this. I'm more of a pink rose kind of girl. I'm not a girly girl, but I like pink. I'm a fan of just being yourself. Be yourself and you won't be unhappy, okay? The flower mask is probably one of my favorite masks that I created. I started with five, we got down to three. Pre-production, you know, you have all these ideas and then during production, sometimes things don't go right. We had to cut it down from five to three. Shopping for flowers, even fake flowers, they're so pretty, you know, this is spring season. And we need quite a few because, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can hear me, but we need quite a few because not only am I covering the mask, full of floral. She's also gonna be wearing sunglasses and um, we're going to fill in the entire frame with petals. So I think it's gonna look super dope. And of course, I'll show you guys all the after images as well. So we took the sunglasses out. She did not end up wearing the sunglasses in the shoot. Um, I just wasn't feeling it, you know, and that's just how production goes. Um, all right, let's continue picking out flowers. Uh-uh, for a dollar, this is kind of expensive. I need a little bit more than this. Okay, shoot. Balling on a budget, baby. two-man band okay it's me and it's my boyfriend who's also the cameraman hey baby hey. yeah <laughs> so it's a two-man band and we do this ourselves he helps me uh, shoot the behind the scenes he records me for my YouTube he helps me with my IG reels he takes my Instagram photos so me preparing for a photo shoot takes a while sometimes but I'm okay, I'm not in a race with anybody or anything. I want my things to be perfect. So sometimes it takes a while, but as long as we get the vision and we execute it, that's all that matters. All right, so I think I found all the floors that we're gonna get from here. And then after this, we're gonna go to Michael's to see what they have over there to see our options. But I think, I think we did good here. All right, you ready? I am ready. Baby, let me tell you, Michael's is no Dollar General, okay? It's a little bit more pricier, um, but I could not be shopping for arts and supplies and not go to Michael's. Like, how do you just skip out on going to Michael's? <sighs> okay, guys. So, we made our first stop. We found a lot of great things at Dollar Tree. I'm really happy about that. And uh, now we're gonna go to Michael's and just to take a look at what they have there. And I also need to get like fabric super glue. And I feel like Michael's is a really good place for that. So uh, here we go. Walking in, I see a whole bunch of 
fall shrubbery that I think would look great with the shoe. So uh, I'm just gonna walk up and down this aisle and take a look at what they got. I will say, I will say, I will say, Michaels has a lot of options. Lots of options. You can't go wrong by going to Michaels. Um, you just may have to up your supply budget a little bit. <laughs> All right, we found the adhesive, guys. It's right over here. Um, you know, Micah took us for a little twirl. You know, we thought the adhesive was over there, now it's over here. Okay, so now that we found it, um, we need to find the best fabric adhesive. So I see a few right here that says fabric fusion, permanent, fa Ooh, permanent? Wow, that sounds permanent, okay. I'm definitely gonna have to ask an employee what's the best thing. So I had to find an employee to help me <laughs> with the glue because, you know, I need to make sure that I'm buying the right stuff, you know? And I'm a type of person that I like to review everything before I buy it. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a pencil. I need to review the make, and model of the lead that they're using. I need to know where the wood came from, okay? And I need to know where it was founded. That thread, the only difference between that is either if you're gonna do, um, let's say like stretchy. So like this, like that kind of fabric, this kind of fabric. Okay. Like glue. Is it fine? All right, so, and I feel like, you know, I like this character trait about me that I'm always inquiring about something. And I know it can be kind of annoying to people sometimes. I will ask, 15 million questions, but I like that because I'm a learner. And yes, I'm an artist, but I'm always gonna be a student to the industry, to the game. Knowing these things now and learning these types of things now, even if it just is about glue, that helps me with my game, that makes me faster, that makes me sharper, and I'm able to do my job even better. Okay, so after getting help from um, Michael's employee, they told me that these two brands are really good adhesive glue for um, jewelry, accessories, and also fabric. So I'm gonna get these two. They're both uh, about $7.99 each. I think these two sizes will work well for my project and I'll probably have some product left over to use for the future. So. Um, I guess it's a good investment. So let's go check out. So after a long day of shopping, uh, we ended up going home and you know calling that a day. So today my boyfriend and I are going to be putting together all the props that are going to go with the mask and also creating the actual mask. So we got all our flowers, all our shrubbery, jewelry, our adhesive glue, everything. I also ordered a few things off of Amazon as well. One of the masks is she's gonna be wearing gloves and I had to buy long fingernails to attach to the fingers so she can have this silhouette type of feel going on with her black mask and she's also gonna be wearing a black white hat. So that's one of the things that we're gonna be working on today. We're just going to be masking a lot of these different masks here. Here's just a little, this is just a simple black mask that I got from Amazon. It was super cheap, nothing expensive, but um, it's a really durable material. And I think that being able to glue and stick things to this will work out really well. So um, I'm excited about that and we're just about to get down and just get creative and hopefully everything in this brain up here translates really well into the, uh, to the project. And uh, this guy over here is gonna be helping us out today. <laughs> he has his scissors, he's ready to go. And uh, see you guys when we're all done. I'm so excited. 
excited because today is the day that we've been working so hard for to finally come. We are shooting today, finally. And um, I wanted you guys to see all my little preparation right here. So we have the jewelry, some of the other masks. We have our camera and our equipment. And then we have our setup right here. It's a little dark because we're using the uh, flash. So it's a little dark right now. But yeah, that is our setup. And we are going to get down to business. So I'm gonna go outside and go get the model tree. And we're gonna get started. So when I come up with my concepts for my photo shoots and my projects, I think of everything in my mind. A lot of the times I'm just daydreaming, really. And I'm coming up with ideas for a song that I heard on the radio earlier that day, or a photo that I saw on the internet last week or something like that, or just off of a conversation that I'm having with a friend or a loved one. Um, my inspiration can be pulled from anywhere, so I don't know if any other artist can relate to that by sitting there and kind of like visioning like your project or visioning like what you want to produce. And it just literally comes out of the our imagination, really from nothing. And um, it can be inspired or it can be motivated through an outside source, but like 10 out of 10, I'm usually coming up with my projects from my imagination. And that's a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for vlogging with me and coming through this journey. The photo shoot turned out so well, and it didn't even take that long. It, the photo shoot lasted for about two hours or so. It was nice, short, and sweet and simple. After working for a few months getting this together, uh, we were able to get everything done in about two hours. So really super proud of all the work that we've done. I hope you guys enjoyed walking with me and hearing me talk about my process and where my inspiration comes from. And um, if you wanna see the photos of everything that we did, please check out my Instagram. It's instagram.com forward slash Couture Moments with an underscore at the end. And I hope you guys love all my stuff and please subscribe and like this video, give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram as well for updates and when I'll be doing another episode of Behind the Scenes. Bye guys.